Q&A. Is this a channel to learn programming? Yes. I made a bunch of Java tutorials over the span of like three years and they've helped a lot of people. You can check them out. But right now I'm trying to make new videos. Can you make a video about yourself? Like what is your job, etc. I haven't, I haven't made a video about like day in my life or really talked about my job much. I work as a test engineer, but I'm starting to kind of lose interest in that because I just get interested in like just random things. So I don't really talk about my job much, but but yeah, I'm open to making all kinds of new videos. I wonder why are you not using IntelliJ? This is a really popular question. Like why was I using Eclipse in all my videos instead of IntelliJ? I actually prefer IntelliJ by a lot. However, I used Eclipse because Eclipse was the environment that my computer science teachers had us set up in college and high school. And this also gets into why I use light theme in my videos. It's because when I was a student, I would look up tutorials on like how to use a for loop. And then I'd scroll down and see which thumbnails had like the, the screen that looks like mine. And so since I was using light eclipse, I looked for videos that had light eclipse in the thumbnail, preferably with code. And I clicked the videos. So that's why I used eclipse, not IntelliJ and light theme just because it's easy and most people start off like that. Because with IntelliJ and dark theme and all this other stuff, it kind of distracts from the learning. So that's why I did that. Even though I prefer IntelliJ, they're both great. How old are you? Wondering if I'm too old for Java. Nobody is too old for Java. You're gonna need to learn some programming Anyway, and Java is one of the best programming languages right now and will continue to be because what people don't understand is like all this code is written in Java and people have to maintain that code. So if, if basically entire businesses are built on Java, they're not just going to overnight rewrite everything in Python, you know, and Java is also just like, it's just still a great language. And that's why they taught me that in college at NC State, because it's still important. You're not too old to learn Java. You're not too young to learn Java. And that's why I teach Java. How old am I though? I'm 24. I started making Java tutorials right out of college. So I would have been 21, 20 or 21. Are you Korean? Yes, I'm half Korean. I actually have a Korean flag here. I am half Korean, half white. My dad is Korean, my mom is white. Dude, why are your lips the same as Mr. Beast? <laughs> I don't know why, but so many people have compared me to Mr. Beast, it's really strange. In a way, I can, I can kind of see how people would think I'm like Mr. Beast or kind of resemble him in some minute way. I didn't think anything much of it when like one person said something, but these are like tens of comments saying I remind them of Mr. Beast, so. I mean, hey, Mr. Beast. Can we be doppelgangers or something, man? These videos are just great. Java backflip tutorial when? I'll teach you how to backflip in Java. Don't worry. When are you going to post programming videos again? Um, honestly, I don't know. I don't program in my real life anymore outside of work. And I'm not really interested in it anymore, at least right now. Right now I'm focusing on tricking. You've probably seen at least in your subscription feed or your homepage, like I'm posting flipping videos. So the coding videos, I'm just not as interested in it now as I was, and that's okay because people change. And I know that's why people subscribed to the channel was to get job tutorials every week. And I kept up with that as much as I could, but there was a point where I realized if I'm gonna go full-time on YouTube, I should be doing something that I'm having fun with and I'm enjoying, and I just wasn't enjoying it as much. So I hope you can understand that. So I don't know when I'll be doing coding videos anymore or if I will, but I show you one thing, I will keep you guys engaged and I will post things that you want to see. For sake, enough of this crap, just post Java videos. Most of these are like hyper specific questions to programs, which makes sense. So I'll look up some like generic Q and A YouTube questions I'll answer. What did you want to be when you were small? When I was growing up, I feel like I had a very different mentality. Like I didn't fit in right away with a lot of kids because I was very shy and still am pretty shy. Um, so I felt like I had to prove myself. Wow, this is getting really deep. <laughs> in order to like be happy or have fun. That's a bit dramatic. I wanted to make the most of my life and 
have people remember me and inspire people and, and just basically like be high on life because I realized at a very young age like this is the only life I have, I, I have to do something. So I really wanted to be a YouTuber. I started making video game YouTube videos when I was like 13. And look, I'm, I'm kind of a YouTuber now. But I also wanted to be like, have a really cool skill or like inspire people. I just wanted to be a good person. So I'm trying to achieve that right now. And so that's what I wanted to be when I was small. If money was no object, what would you do all day? I would... Probably hang out with my friends, eat good food, hang out at like the beach or the park and do tricks, like tricking, flips, and pursue whatever interests I have at the time because I get new interests like every few months. Like I had a spurt where I got really deep into keyboards. Now I'm getting really deep into tricking. However, I think tricking is gonna be more of a lifetime thing. I can kind of feel that. And I realized that like it says if money were no object, but I kind of want to get closer to like the simpler things that bring me joy rather than do like the most extravagant things all the time. Like it'd be nice to like travel and go try new foods. I, don't, I always bring up food. I love food. Spending time with people I care about mostly. Just doing fun things. That's what I would do if money was no object. Let's end it on a spicy one. What pisses you off? Not many things piss me off, but there are quite a few like little things that I just absolutely hate. I hate the combination of paper and water so much, so much. Like a straw wrapper, a paper straw wrapper in water. Oh, like when it soaks up like the ring, the ring the water makes on the table and it, oh, I just hate that so much. I don't know why, it just, like my family would do that. They would like dip the straw wrapper in water and like throw it on me and I just, oh, I hate that so much. I don't know why. Also, I hate it when my food gets cold. I've been ordering and picking up a lot of food and the drive home is like five to 15 minutes usually and the food gets cold on the way. So I'll drive faster so that the food isn't as cold. So I hate that. But yeah, honestly, I don't get pissed off. I think I try to give people like the benefit of the doubt, but yeah. I hope this was a good Q and A. Um, let me know if I should do another one and leave your question down below if you want me to answer it. Thanks for watching. Peace.